How you going guys? Welcome back to Fat Fords and as you can see we've been disassembling the coop. We um, basically took all the guards and bonnet and everything off. Um, I wanted to sort of get all this uh, area prepped up so we sort of got stuck into that um, with the DA, cleaned it up and um, yeah we put a bit of uh, easy foss on it to stop it rusting and um, I did start to uh, work on the um, the cowl panel here um, I sort of I was scratching my head you know what I was going to do with this because the original Falcon one obviously wouldn't fit because it's a Mustang cow um, and I was thinking can I you know combine the two or what can I do um, the biggest issue is the fact that these wipers are actually recessed down below the panels so what I ended up doing was uh, using a piece from the original Mustang uh, cover which is plastic can you just pass that bit of that, that piece under there right yeah so this is the original piece out of the Mustang and that used to that used to sit across there like that. but we can't use that because it's just basically it's ugly and it won't fit the windscreen so what I've done is I've chopped out the piece um, for, for the wipers and that as you can see I've just used it there what I'll probably end up doing is um, I'll probably just I'm, I've just got a rivet holding it but I'm not going to use rivets I think what I'll I'll do I think it'll work is just use panel bond like automotive panel bond so when this is all, when the steel is all painted and everything I'll panel bond that plastic to it and then it'll be a permanent fixture so I started out using an original Falcon piece and that works okay here but it's not going to work okay across the rest of it because um, there's an arm in there that goes from the original um, wiper shaft to the wiper shaft that I've mounted on the passenger side and that arm as it comes across it just rises up a bit so I'm going to have to get rid of all of that and that's why I've made this piece here so um, so yeah so it basically rises up over that arm and then I'm going to have to blend that into this piece that I've made here so I'm kind of not quite sure what I'm doing at the moment but yeah that's sort of like in the thought process if you know what I mean so I just left that for the time being and I've come over to the bonnet because I want to basically get this bonnet um, in primer it's been a lot of work done to this bonnet with uh, we've shortened it uh, over 200 mil um, we've added 50 mil onto the width of the front of it, which uh, tapers back to nothing. I think we took about five mil off the back here and added 25 to the front on either side. Um, so now it's a matter of just getting the steel as, as smooth and flat as I can um, before body filling. And then what I found up here is that where I joined the two pieces back together after taking the 200 mil out is that just past the join, it's sort of rose up and it's probably the heat from the welding and everything because it's sort of like it had it had a high spot and then it had a low spot so what i've been doing is just working on shrinking this and um, yeah just going about it just heating up a spot tapping it and then cooling it down now um, probably in hindsight um, to do this properly probably be better to actually remove the whole skin off the bonnet and and if I was going to do it again, that's probably what I would do. I would get um, a bonnet like this, brand new. I'd remove the skin completely. I'd work on the frame. I'd get the frame all the right shape and size, and then make the skin the right shape. And then I'd put the skin back on. So stuff like this, you could actually work on it with the skin off the frame, and you could dolly it and everything like that. So um, that's in hindsight so anyway what I've got now is I've got the skin on the bonnet the frames there I can't get a dolly behind it so I'm just heating spots tapping them and then just putting a damp rag on top and it seems to be working fine actually it's, it's slow but seems to be working it's bringing the high spot down and, and at the same time that low spot has actually risen a bit yeah. okay so we had a little bit of a snafu there when we were um, just filming that introduction the uh, the battery went flat Wait, <laughs> Blake's holding the camera, so Blake has to take the blame, as usual. So anyway, during that time, um, I just finished um, uh, doing my heat shrinking, got it all pretty flat, and then I just went over it with some 40 grit on a flappy, um, a flappy disc sander, and um, just basically got the bonnet all keyed, ready 
you know, to put a skim coat of uh, filler over it. So, um, yeah, basically ready to go. So, but before I carry on with that, what I might do is um, I might just tell you guys about some merch that I got. Um, we got these t-shirts printed up. All right, guys, so I just wanted to mention that I've had this merch made up and um, you can get it uh, by clicking on the link in the description below each of the videos. Um, yeah, so it's just the, you know, the, the red falcon coupe that, um, you know, you've seen me wearing um, during the videos. And um, you can get it in either uh, black or um, black or grey or white. So um, pretty much any size that you want. So hopefully some of you is interested and um, you go ahead and um, click on that link and uh, go ahead and get some from eBay. Yeah, it would have taken forever for you to stop talking. Are you ready? It's on your own. Oh, are it's you on? Ready? Okay, so I recorded all the bullshit? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's make sure we keep that in. We recorded your whinging. Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm just about to put a little bit of body filler on. The filler that I'm using is uh, 3M Platinum Plus. So it's a pretty good filler. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit over where the repair was first and then I'll come back later on once that's kind of cured and I'll put another another smear over it's really nice creamy filler it's really good to work with 
Um, it's actually the first time I've used it, but I've already done this side, and I found that it was just really, really good to apply, no air bubbles or anything. And then um, I knocked it back with 36 grit, and yeah, it was just like working with, um, well, I won't say butter, it's like butter to put on, but it comes off like talcum powder, it's just really nice. Hopefully I didn't put too much hardener in. But I found even when it started going hard, it didn't happen instantly like it does with some fillers where you just like caught straight away. It sort of just slowly starts going off. So you can kind of feel it, you know. gradually starts getting stiffer and stiffer and it doesn't sound very good does it? Blake didn't get that one because he's not old enough. So 